So I've gotten a bunch of comments in my other videos asking me what theme I'm using on my iPhone. So I thought I could just make a video showing you guys what exactly it is that I have on here. So I'm going to start with the lock screen. Um, the widgets, these are called quick widgets. I made another video on this. You could go watch that to check it out. It's free. You can get it in Cydia. For the tap to unlock, it's called a better tap to unlock in Cydia. You can download that and activate it with Winterboard and you'll see this. You can just tap it to unlock. So that's the lock screen. Now a quick note about Winterboard. I don't even have it installed, so none of this stuff here is using Winterboard. Um, for the dock, I took the dock and these five icons from the glass orb theme. Um, I might make another video on how to put Winterboard docks, icons, and sounds, things like that without using Winterboard because it definitely helps in overall performance when you're not using Winterboard. So that's the dock. And then for the wheel here with the folders with all my icons in it, this is called Pogo Plank. I made it I also made another video on this. You could go watch that to see more on this. It's a dollar ninety nine Insidia. It's really cool. Makes all of your apps load faster compared to using your normal icon and paged springboard. For the carrier logo, it's called AT&T Carrier Logo. You could get it in Cydia from the Big Boss repo. Just type in AT and T and then that should be it. Um, I don't remember what I installed for the Wi-Fi icons, um, but for this stuff here, these two things, it's called Status Notifier. You could get that in Cydia for free. There's, it also does other ones besides new email and your silent switch. It can do missed calls, new instant messages, new RSS things, um, unread text messages, things like that. And then I'm on a 3G, and then the, your battery percentage isn't anything you get out of the box. So I had to do some file editing in a plist file, and I'll probably show you how to do that in another video as well. And then this is called SB settings. It's just a free little uh, tog uh, toggle board where you could turn certain things on or off like 3G, Wi-Fi, GPS location, things like that. You also get some nifty power options and some other things. And then this is called Q Tweeter. I don't remember how much it was, but you can get it in Cydia. It's not free, but it basically allows you to post updates on Twitter or Facebook. You can also upload pictures and videos, whether no matter what iPhone you're on. So you can add videos to TwitVid. And that is pretty much it. Oh yeah, one more thing. This is called Pro Switcher. It's like multi-flow, but it's free. It's basically a Palm Pre style uh, application switcher. Really cool, lots of nice little options and settings that you could use. Just really nice, and it's free and open source. So that's about it. That's just a quick tour of all the customizations on my iPhone. And if you have any questions, post a comment, and we'll be seeing you soon.